Uh, they are, we know they are refugees and then asylum seekers. Asylum seekers and refugees are welcome. We, we are a country that uh, understands if, if, that there are always people running away from war and conflict in their countries. Like we have many who, who left our country too because of uh, apartheid and uh, many of them went to go and trade. But even refugees and asylum seekers, they, they come through a particular process. So I, I'm saying to you that, uh, that I think any attempt, every time we deal with issues of strengthening border security and making sure that uh, we know who is our country and those who uh, have to be in our country because they are either working, they have chosen, you know, they, they've chosen to come and work in our country. I see every country in the world uh, you can't just walk uh, like that, and then if if you strengthen border security, it is said to be a, a, a xenophobia. Is there no leadership on this issue? Ask these uh, leaders. Uh, you know, we suspended the sitting of the legislature to show how serious we were. We have been on the ground every day. MC Lisufi uh, has been doing everything to ensure that the schools are not disrupted. Uh, the mayors, all the mayors, uh, especially in the affected areas, uh, have been doing everything to make sure there is no disruption. Uh, the president made a very strong statement. Uh, so from where we sit, I think we must send one message. South Africans uh, are not xenophobic. They don't hate uh, foreigners by virtue of being foreigners. Uh, they, there may as well be many issues why, where people are saying that, but we have problems in this area and there's a problem there, there's corruption there, there is crime there, but the police job is to deal with crime, regardless of the nationality uh, of the criminals. Uh, I can see that uh, in different parts of uh, uh, our continent, people are concerned, but uh, Anyone who knows South Africans and the South African government knows that that uh, uh, we our approach is very severe around issues of migration and migration policy. Uh, we have, South Africans have lived with uh, people from the different African countries and the different parts of the world for a long time. But criminality is criminality. We can allow. It doesn't matter whether these are criminals from Eastern Europe or from Asia, or from any part of our continent. Criminals must be, uh, must, Ukai Mulao says that uh, there's no place to hide. So we're not going to stop Ukai Mulao uh, because uh, in the course of the work of the police, they identify that in a particular crime, it may be a South African, in, in another crime, it may be a foreign national. We're not going to stop that. Uh, and, and I think the police are em more emboldened, actually. You are going to see us uh, in the streets everywhere. I don't want citizens and residents of Houghton to take the law into their own hands. Let them work with the police. Let them work with the, our councillors. When they identify that a particular crime is being committed in a particular house, there is a problem of human trafficking or drugs, let them work with, the, with us to, to do that. But taking the law into their own hands is something that we will, we will really, really not want. And I know communities understand that. Sometimes they say, but there are particular police officers who are co collaborating with criminals. General Mawela has suspended a lot of officers since he became the provincial commissioner in February. Uh, including the video you saw, there was a video in uh, Hillbro. Uh, where a police officer was getting an envelope, uh, those that police officer has been suspended. Uh, so there, there is no no justification for taking the law into their own. But I want to defend Ukaimula. And you know what? Communities want more. That's what they say to us. They want the police every day, not only to react when there is a, an inc incident of violence. They want the police to proactively police and do their way. So thank you very much. You know we, we have to return to our bases.